Hi, welcome back to our summer reading program, Dig Deeper STEAM Activities with the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Maribel, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed the activities that we've been uh, recording for you and having fun with them. This week, we're going to be making a marble maze out of straws and a paper plate. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. All right, friends, so for this steam activity, we're going to need a paper plate, straws, scissors, and tape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna construct a maze using the straws and the plate um, so that a marble can maneuver its way through. So you will also need a marble that you're gonna use to see if your maze is successful. So um, we will need one marble. So they're down here. So the first thing we wanna do is construct the pathway where we want the marble to go, the starting point and where we want it to end. So we're going to do that by cutting up our straws because we'll be using them as, as the walls of our maze. So we want to cut up all our straws because those will be the pieces that we use. All right, I already pre-cut some beforehand because I had to figure out how to do this. So I'll be using these that are already cut. Okay, so first what we want to do is we want to do the path where we want the actual marble to go. So that's how I did it. The simpler path is for me to build first the path where I want the marble to go. So I'm going to do that first um, so you can see it. I'm going to speed it up though because it might take a little bit. I think it took me like 20 minutes to do the other one. So I'll speed it up. But basically what I'm going to do is create the path where I actually want my marble to go. The start point and the end point. And I'm going to use the tape to tape down my straws. You could also use um, glue, liquid glue, um, or you could use um, a hot glue gun. Um, but I'm going to use tape because it's simpler to do. You just want to make sure that when you tape it, you tape the um, the tape is close to the straw and not extending outward because it'll get in the way of the marble trying to get through and you want a clear path for that. All right, so here we go. So I have the designated path that I want my marble to go and I'm going to label that so that I know and don't get confused later on when I um, add more straws to it. This is going to be my start. I'm going to label it. I'm going to label it a start. Oh, let me grab a black marker. I'm going to label this my starting point. And then my end point is going to be right here. That is my end. All right, so now I'm just gonna fill in the rest with additional little um, paths for my marble to go. Obviously, there is only one path that it will go, that it will make it all the way. So I'm just gonna add extra straws, uh, little straw parts here and there, just to add more um, little ways and make it look like a true maze. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my plate now with uh, these maze these maze walls so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now
here we go. Here is our maze all finished up. And so now let's go ahead and test it and see if we can make it go where it's supposed to go. So we'll start right here. Yeah, we did it. It totally works. So we definitely made it go where we wanted to go. Starting point, we gotta tilt it up, around, and to the end. Ta-da! All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this steam activity. If you did, hit like. And if you'd like to see other videos we have, go ahead and look through the videos that we have on our channel page. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!